Hello everyone. Welcome to the AI practical series. In this session, we will study about the KNN algorithm that is the K nearest neighbors algorithm which is widely used uh, in machine learning. So, uh, I've divided the session to two parts. The first part is explanation of the KNN algorithm. Second part is Python implementation, execution and the explanation of the code. So, what is KNN? So KNN is of course a very simple but a powerful machine learning algorithm which can be used for classification as well as the regression tasks depending on the problem. Then uh, KNN is based on the idea that objects or the data points that are close to each other in the feature space. So if we have a feature space and we have some points which are together, a cluster of points if we have some together then they are more likely to belong to the same class or they have the similar values. Uh, now KNN is based on two things that is a classification and the regression. Now in classification uh, KNN finds the K nearest data points in the training data sets and assigns the class label that is most common among those K neighbors to the new point. So if we already have a classification of a sets different sets and if we are uh, given a new data point a, a new data so we see that that particular data is close to which data sets if it is close to one of the particular data set then we classify in that particular data set so that is what is done we will see in, in the next slide we will see the example and regression in KNN in this particular thing KNN calculates the average of the target values of the K nearest neighbors and assigns this value to the new data point that is done in the case of regression. Now you, this is uh, an example suppose we have example where we classify the data sets so here we have one class so the white one the another is this red one then we have green and then we have the yellow one suppose we are given a new point so suppose if this point uh, is lying at this point this is the new point okay now if we observe this particular point it is more closer to this whites than the other so if we take the nearest suppose if we take the nearest five neighbors so nearest five neighbors so this one is more closer this this point is more closer this point is more closer okay then we can say so this we can find the distance of the nearest point which are close to this blue point if we take five points if that five be, uh, uh, in in that particular five points if three belong to white and two belong to red so because it is more closer to white so we, we can classify into this particular class so this is how it is done so nearest neighbors means what well if we take five then five nearest neighbors if we take ten then which are the ten nearest neighbors that is how the classification is done so uh, this is how it is done now this is the python code we have used classification so this is import but i'll explain this code afterwards i have used iris data set so iris data set is freely available I will share the link in the description section of the video you can download from there or it is readily available so so this is the code I will explain the code now one more thing uh, this iris set uh, because I am using Google Colab so I have saved this file on my PC and then uploaded there is option of uploading this particular CSV file uh, in the Google Lab uh, Google Colab in case if we are using that then we have to write this but if we are using python then uh, I, python id then we have to give the path of this file here so where the path where that particular file is stored so in my, in my case so this this is where my data set is so because i'm using google collab so i'll just give the file name here so now let us see first the uh, iris csv file then we will execute the code using the google collab and then I explain the code so this is the iris data set we can download it so there are six columns the first is the id so there are actually in this case we have 150 samples so these are the 150 samples and uh, they are classified on the basis of sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width in centimeters and this is the target so the first 50 i have colored this this is iris uh, setosa then the second is iris versicolor then we have IC iris virginica so these are the three uh, classes that the targets okay so uh, this id shows the number of uh, samples and these are the 
the length of that particular sample okay so we do the classification and we classify it accordingly so this is what the data set is we are given this is the data, data, data set so I've saved it file with dot CSV format and we will upload this file if we are using Google Colab we will upload the file on Google Colab in case if we are using Python ID we will save the file on our PC and provide the path for the data sets now let us execute the code I will use I will be using the Google Colab so we'll open the Google Colab the very first thing we will upload the file that CSV file so I'll just click on this icon and then the upload icon so I need to give the path so this file is in on my desktop and the folder is knn and this is the csv file just open it up so this is the file is uploaded now let us uh, type the code I, I, I don't need to type I just copied the code I'll just paste the code so code I'll just paste it here the required code so this is the required code so you can see this is the iris file so if we are using Python ID then we need to give the path of the file here but I have the file in this here iris file as you can see so let us now execute the code let us see what output we are getting so we got the output so we are getting the classification accuracy is 1.0 so we are getting the best possible result now I'll explain the code this line imports the pandas library, which is used for data manipulation and analysis. This line imports the train test split function from scikit-learn, which is used to split the dataset into training and testing sets. This line imports the kneighbors classifier class from scikit-learn, which is used to create and train a knn classifier. This line imports the accuracy score function from scikit-learn, which is used to calculate the accuracy of the classification model. This line reads the iris dataset from a CSV file located at the specified path and stores it in a pandas data frame called df. This line drops the ID and target columns from the data frame df to extract only the relevant feature columns. The axis equals 1 argument indicates that columns should be dropped. This line converts the resulting data frame into a number pi array, which will be used as the feature matrix X. This line selects the target column from the data frame df, which contains the class labels for classification. This line converts the selected column into a number pi array, which will be used as the target variable y classification for classification. This line splits the feature matrix x and the target variable y classification into training and testing sets. The test size equals 0.2 argument specifies that 20% of the data will be used for testing, and random state equals 42 sets a random seed for reproducibility. The resulting arrays are training features, testing features, training labels, and testing labels for classification. k equals 3 sets the value of k to 3. k represents the number of nearest neighbors to consider when making predictions. K neighbors classifier creates a KNN classifier with K neighbors. This line fits or trains the KNN classifier on the training data, where X train contains the features and Y train classification contains the corresponding class labels. This line predicts the class labels for the testing data X test using the trained classifier and stores the predictions. Accuracy score calculates the accuracy of the classification model by comparing the predicted labels to the true label. Then finally, print classification accuracy prints the classification accuracy to the console. That's all for this particular session. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe and comment.